In this video, we will estimate the slope of a tangent line to a graph based only on the graph itself. We will not have any other information. We will estimate the slope of the tangent line to the graph y equals f of x pictured above at the point where x equals 2. And the first thing we should do is put in the coordinates of the point of tangency. And when we look at the graph, we see that when x equals 2, y is approximately 1. And approximately is an important idea here. From a graph, you cannot read off exact values. And that will be a source of error in any such estimate. Now, the way that we're going to estimate the slope of the tangent line is by drawing a tangent line to the graph using a straight edge pictured below. Now first, we're going to look at a not particularly good estimate and the straight edge has been placed so it passes right through the point to one. But as you can see, the slope that we're getting is too big and that's pretty obvious because of the asymmetry in what the curve looks like on each side of the point of tangency. And you can see the left-hand side is way above the straight edge. And on the right-hand side, the straight edge actually seems to be a little bit above the graph. Okay, so this is not a good estimate. And we need to replace the ruler and do somewhat better. Here we have a better picture. Okay, notice that on each side of the graph near the point of tangency, the curve looks about the same. It rises away from the point of tangency sort of equally on both sides with respect to the tangent line. Uh, and this sort of symmetry near the point of tangency suggests that we've got a pretty good estimate here. So the slope we're going to calculate is going to be change in y over change in x based upon this tangent line. And of course, we can't do that without finding another point on the tangent line. So we're going to choose a point on the tangent line to do this calculation. And we're going to choose a point that is fairly far away from the point of tangency. And the reason is, if delta x is small, the errors we're going to get in reading off delta y will be magnified when we divide delta y by delta x. So we want delta x to be big. So we want to choose a point on the tangent line far from the point of tangency and where we know one of the coordinates exactly. So we only have to make one estimate. In this particular case, what we're going to do is we're going to look at where our tangent line crosses the x-axis and y is going to be exactly zero there and it looks in this picture like that happens about when x is minus 1.5. So we're going to use that point and we see delta x is then 2 minus minus 1.5 or 3.5 change in x between the two points is 3.5 change in y between those two points is 1 minus 0 or 1. Delta y over delta x is 1 over 3.5, which to two decimal places is 0.29, which is our estimate for the slope. The actual answer is 0.3, and I know this because uh, I know what function this is the graph of, and I know what the slope of the tangent line is here you will notice that 0.29 is very close to 0.3. So this is actually a pretty good estimate. 